Um, Thank you. You like more. Just... You like more. Uh, Go. You like more Arabic, Eastern, Middle, or uh, American? Come on, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Lego. Thank you, Rachel. Um. Hold on, I should read in the comments. What? Guys, snipe, snipe, three seconds. No! Guys. Snipe! You know that... Snipe! Oh. Fuck. Yeah! Period. Thanks, guys, for the gifts. Good game. Good game. So? Equal. Equal? Equal. Equal. But when you go more Middle Eastern, Arabic, Persian, or American? How do I see the MVPs? Wait, how do I see MV? Oh, shout out Rachel, shout out Dre, shout out Chris, Krista. Thank you guys. Like, um, where, where, where it goes a little bit more. Hey, thank you. Um, why are you asking me? No, it's a simple question. I don't, I don't like. N do another one. Another one. Well, how, how about you? How you ask me, like, what's my favorite food? No, but that like so boring. No. I... What's boring is the fact that you're on a live stream, trying to literally chat up another cast member, and uh, you're not reading the energy of the room. So really and truly, you can talk about her saying, hey, ask me a different question, and him saying it's boring, but it doesn't change the fact that what the, whatever the hell is going on here is boring. It is boring as well as it is unacceptable. I mean, listen, at the end of the day, how can you come on a live stream and uh, be trying to chat up a married woman? Despite what her relationship may be right now, you are trying to talk about a married woman. Like, do you not have values for yourself? Does he think that it's okay? You know? <laughs> and then also on top of that, why is he topless? But hey, I get it. That is his brand. His brand is being on TikTok and being topless and, you know, obviously bringing in a viewership of women that like to see a man who is topless. Maybe I'll get more views if I do the same goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but in the, the day, obviously, I have my own values. I have my own integ integrity, if you dig what I'm saying. But also on top of that, to be honest with you, I also want to know why the hell is Sophie even doing, even doing a live stream with Razvan in the first place? I don't know why she feels like this is okay for her to do a, a live stream with a man that is happily sitting there topless and also happily sitting there asking her questions about what she prefers. Because here's the thing, if the shoe wasn't on the foot, if this was Rob now on a live stream and he was topless and he had another woman there and, you know, let's say, for example, the woman is asking him the same questions, Sophie would be like, what are you doing? Is this you trying to, is this you attempting to do online cheating again? Do you not have respect? Blah, da, 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 da. We all know how, what she says. We all know how she goes about it, if you dig what I'm saying. So it's quite interesting how she can complain about Rob and his online cheating and all that kind of stuff, which, of course, respects Fleef rightly slow. She has every right to be upset with him because Rob did the dirty 1,000%. But to then put yourself in positions where you can then be seen as a hypocrite, well, then that just makes you dumb, doesn't it now? <laughs> I mean, there's so many things, that obviously, we can delve into, but, the, but here's the other thing, though. Razvan, for some bizarre reason, is struggling to read the room. And to be honest with you, after seeing him in this little video here, it kind of makes me understand even more why Amanda, once she got there, she was the way she was with him. She was very stand with him, very mm -mm with him. You know what I mean? Because to be honest with you, when I was watching this, I was getting very cringe vibes and very, most importantly, creepy vibes. It's like, let it go, read the room. But hey, let's play a little bit more because, uh, yeah. Okay, another question. Another question. Okay, yeah, another question. That. Another question. Um, I don't discriminate. This was, yeah, that's a okay. good one. Let, let me think you. about it. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to. What, what, uh, what oh. was the vibe of the song that you just played. The the vibe. Wait, did you just 
Wait, I have a question. Was those lights there before? To do what? Sorry? <laughs> no, this the lights? No, we were not. I was trying to make it red, but I, I couldn't find the red. <laughs> no! Red is crazy! No! <laughs> Why would you put the, not the red lights? That's to go okay. with the song. I don't know how he doesn't feel embarrassed. I don't know how he doesn't feel humiliated. Like, she's not taking you seriously. She's literally mocking you at this point. Which, of course, on that side, you can say maybe it covers the fact that she's on this live stream in the first place. And therefore, she has a defense to say, that, hey, Rob, did it look like I was into him? Does it look like I was blah, 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 blah? But either way, though, I still had to make the first point because the first point still makes still stands in my opinion because why the hell are you in this live stream with this guy make it make sense but either way though again talk about not being able to read the room but also on top of that like yo if the woman is dodging the questions and she's taking the time to even respond to you or she's too focused on the actual chats it's telling you that she's not into this conversation she doesn't want nothing to do with it in fact it tells me that she's here for one thing and that is literally the paycheck that you're going to get from this live stream potentially and also i guess the addition of the following but she's not here to have a little conversation with you about, you know, da 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 da. <laughs> Wait. No. <laughs> okay, listen, my last question. My last question. Okay. Yes. Um. <laughs> You, you are on the side of uh, I, I can I don't know how to explain express myself in English. So it, it's like what you choose: dominating or not dominating. And then boom, bam. I don't know. I think I think it was a timer, and that's what locked him off. I don't know. I don't know how TikTok works. To be fair, with the live streams, I've never really done it. Never really go on the app. To be honest with you, just to upload and disappear. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and then obviously I guess he just disappeared. But uh, why is he asking that question? It's very interesting. Like she's already already avoided the whole. What am I into? She's a, listen. She's avoided every question you've asked her so far, and I asked her whether it's whether 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 she's submissive or. Do you know what? what, what let me say less. You, you, you've all seen it. You've all got your opinions in it. Let me know what your opinions are in the comment section. Let me not waste my breath at the end of the day. Razvan, in my opinion, based on this video here, is very, very, very creepy. And uh, he's somebody that gives me vibes that knows how to make women feel very uncomfortable, which probably explains why he's still freaking single, if you ask me personally. And also explains why Amanda started becoming very standoffish with him because he definitely gives off vibes. You're just thinking... And even after the scene that they allegedly had into intimacy, I remember obviously before, he was all like, oh my God, yeah, we did it. And he was like, yay. And Amanda was like, yeah, we did it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things are now making sense to her behavior. Not condoning it. But at the same time, though, if you've seen the interview that I dropped yesterday with Riley, you will also understand that when you're on the show and when you're filming, sometimes the producers can nudge you to you know they can nudge you and provoke you and instigate you to do certain things so therefore they have footage so a part of me wouldn't be surprised if there was a part where amanda said listen you know what this is not for me i'm out blah 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 but the production team was saying hey we need you to come back we need you to finish this da, 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 and probably try to persuade her blah 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 which is why maybe she continued to be around him even though really and truly she was just like uh I wouldn't even be surprised if she really and truly didn't even sleep with him, to be honest with you. And that was something that she was just told to say. Uh, but then again, though, his reaction said they did, to be fair. So maybe it did happen. But then at the same time, maybe his reaction was like that because despite the fact that maybe he didn't, he still needed to make it look like he did because, of course, it makes him look like this guy. Like, yes, I bagged another woman. You know, some men are like that. Some men are very good at faking the fact that they slept with someone in the video they didn't. I mean, some men are even good at thinking that they are they are great in the sack when in reality yeah it's a different conversation so yeah but either way though i just feel like this whole picture of him 
brings a certain level of clarity to Amanda's behavior throughout that season, if you ask me personally. Also, with the added information that we've now learned from the interview that they did right. If you haven't seen it, I recommend you watch it because he speaks about obviously how they do provoke and how they do instigate and how they do push you to make certain choices when you're also filming. And I believe the girl, the fart, the fart jock girl, you know what though? It's actually on here somewhere. The fart girl actually says something about the same thing about how they try to get her to basically, it's not this one. Uh, I don't think it's that one. I don't know which one it is to be fair, but in one of these videos, she speaks about how they were trying to get her to lie about the fact that she had broken her celibacy when she hadn't. Do you see what I'm saying? So there is that too. So given that information now being something that we are now familiar with, I wouldn't be surprised if that's how things really went down. And that's why Amanda's character ended up becoming the way it was. Um, but that's not me defending Amanda though, because realistically she still had a choice to do to walk away. You know what I mean? Everybody still has a choice regardless. The contract does not say that you have to finish filming. The contract just says, hey, you have a choice to film and also you cannot say anything outside of this. You see what I'm saying? And I know this because there's been another cast member that I know of who actually walked off set and did not come back for the rest of the, for the rest of the, uh, the duration until they did it for the rest of the duration. Uh, this is a cast member that was actually on Love and Paradise two seasons back, I think it was, yeah. But nonetheless, though, <clears throat> with that being said, let me know your thoughts, your opinions, and we can talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, shout out to, uh, yeah, peace. Oh.